our purpose is to worship God. Right. But yeah. we don't worship God the way we want to worship. Yeah. We need to worship that uh, how God wants us to worship. And basically, worship is not that difficult. I will not say that uh, it's until that it's become impossible to worship right. God. Because no way that God asks you to worship Him, but yet He set you a way of worshipping Him in a way that is very impossible for us as a man, as a human being, to achieve it. Right. So how to worship Him? The, the concept in Islam is very simple. Now, there is a specific worship that you have to do it in certain time and place. Like for example, you know, as a Muslim, we pray five times a day. Understand. Now, there is a specific worship. But other than that, how about your entire life? Is it a worship? Yes, it is. How? Like for example, how we dress, what we eat, how we eat, what kind of industry we are in. Right? Those are worship. If you are doing anything which is Islamic, now you might heard the word Islamic. Oh, this is Islamic, this is Islamic, this is an Islamic, right? right? Now, to make it very easy, when we say Islamic, meaning that anything happened, anything related to this worldly matter, like for example, what you want to dress? You want to dress like this. Is it Islamic? Oh, yes. Because you are covering yourself, right? right? Now, what is an Islamic? An Islamic is like, okay, like for example, we talk about clothes. Okay, any clothes that is, you know, uh, too revealing according to the standard of God, okay? Because God is a creator of human beings. You and me as a man, we speak very honest here. Now, men are attracted to women in, by nature, right? Now, if a woman who is really cow have dressed modestly according to the standard of God, and women who are not really covered to the standard of God, now, for us as a man, we were always attracted to the one who exposed more rather than the one who are covered more. As a human nature, just be frank, right? So likewise, Islamic means anything that, okay, this will really matter, whatever you want to eat. Okay, most of the thing is halal, or it's some certain thing which is not halal. Well, not necessarily people say, oh, because uh, you might hurt. Don't eat pork, because pork, you might have this worm, you might have that, right? Um, but I was back to defer. I say the reason we are not eating it, not really because there is a worm. Yes, but go back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, thousand four hundred years ago. Do they know inside the pork there is a worm? No. They don't know. Yeah. So why do they refrain from it? Why the Jews who have became Muslim they refrain from it? Why the Christians who became Muslim they refrain from it? Not because they know oh scientifically there is a worm. Actually, but be- a lot of Hindus also don't eat pork as well. Yeah, yeah. but. Because we know, okay, this is what God said, no, mm. don't eat. It's a test for you. I, eat, I used to eat pork, I'm a, I'm a Buddhist, I used to be a oh, Buddhist. Okay. I used to eat pork, I love pork. Don't ask me either I love pork or not, I love pork. Okay, <laughs> porky, barbecue, char siu, whatever, yeah. I like it. But, but, but the thing is that when I become Muslim, I immediately stop eating. Why? Not because I no longer like it, like out of nowhere suddenly, ah, I hate pork. No, I love pork, but I know. God command me and prohibit me from eating it. Okay, since I choose to worship God, I must follow His terms, not my terms. So when He asks me not to eat, I do eat. And of course, when God asks us not to do certain thing or refrain from eating certain thing, that thing must be a certain level of temptation. If no temptation, what is the point of prohibition, bro? Just imagine God say, Hey, bro, sis, don't eat stone. Any test for you? <laughs> Because you and me don't eat stone, man. <laughs> you and me don't eat stone. Yeah. What kind of test you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>